Hi, welcome to the Columbus State Library's Introduction to Library Services. We've got a short presentation to show you what we offer at our two locations, plus our wide range of virtual services and how to access them. There's lots of ways to contact us if you have questions. You have the option of contacting either the Downtown Campus Library or the librarians at the Delaware Campus Learning Center. You can even email us for help and get real-time virtual assistance via chat when the library is open. The library is split up into three zones designed to accommodate students with a wide range of study needs. For instance, students working on a group project would want to work on the first floor, our collaboration zone, so they can have discussions with their teammates without worrying that they might distract others. Our second floor is primarily for students working independently, but some group work is allowed as long as it's done quietly and doesn't distract other students. Our third floor is for quiet study, so we don't permit group work or conversations on that floor. We even have a silent study room for students who need a silent atmosphere in order to focus. Let's talk a little more about our first floor. It's home to our circulation and multimedia departments. From circulation, you can check out books, DVDs, anatomy models, headphones, laptops, and textbooks. You can also reserve a study room for group study, access our print-only stations, and access a computer lab with 18 computers and printing. To check out items or study rooms, you'll need to be currently attending classes at Columbus State, and you'll need to have a photo ID as well. The first floor also houses our multimedia department. In the Multimedia Support Lab, you can access media production software such as Adobe Creative Cloud, Audacity, and Autodesk, as well as specialty equipment such as a Whisper Room, Wacom tablets, and synthesizer keyboards. Right next door is the Multimedia Studio, which is available for photo shoots, video production, and club events. Our second floor is where you'll find reference librarians, professionals who specialize in providing research assistance and instruction. They can help you create research strategies, evaluate resources, locate library materials such as books and articles, and even assist you with technology issues. Reference librarians are available whenever the library is open, and there's no appointment necessary to work with them. Our quiet study environment on the third floor is a unique space on campus, and it's sought after by a lot of students. The silent study room is also a big draw, and it occupies the southeast corner of the third floor. The rest of the third floor contains our print copies of magazines and academic journals, which don't circulate, as well as our collection of books and DVDs, which do. You can check out books and DVDs at the circulation desk on the first floor. We also have two reference librarians at the Delaware Campus Learning Center. They can help you with locating and evaluating resources, formatting citations, and other research-related tasks, just like our librarians in Columbus. The library has an online space, too. Our website is your portal to every information resource we offer. You can use our catalog to find physical materials like DVDs and books, but you can also use our website to access ebooks, electronic journals, newspapers, and magazines. The library's website also provides 24 7 research assistance in the form of our quick guides and research guides. You can also email library staff for help, and you can even get real time assistance via chat when the library is open. The quickest way to get to our website is to pop open a browser and type our web address in the address bar. Our address is library.cscc.edu. This will take you straight to our homepage. Another way to get to the library website is from the college's homepage, cscc.edu. We're located under the academics menu. We've made it extra easy to find ebooks with our Easy Search widget at the bottom of the library's homepage. If you click the ebooks button, you can enter keywords to search for ebooks on any subject you need. Our ebook collection has a wide range of items, including study guides, academic works on history and social issues, books about medicine and the sciences, and more. On the library's homepage, scroll down a bit until you see the Easy Search widget. Click the eBooks button and then enter one or two words about your topic to start searching. 
Once your search results load, you can read each ebook by clicking the View Online link below the title and publisher. Only current students and staff members can access our electronic materials, so if you're off campus, you'll be asked to enter your name and Cougar ID number before reading the ebook. Our databases are a valuable source of information. They contain hundreds of thousands of magazine, newspaper, and academic journal articles, as well as scholarly dictionaries, encyclopedias, and business and entrepreneurship resources. When you're on the library's homepage, you can access our databases by clicking on Find Books and Articles in the upper left of the page. Then click on Databases. This takes you directly to a complete alphabetical list of all the research databases we offer. As I mentioned before, we offer lots of ways to get help, many of them available around the clock. I'll show you how to find these using our Research Help menu. When you click Research Help, you'll see a list of options. The most popular items are the APA and MLA citation guides. These are created by reference librarians and are always kept up to date according to the latest standards for each format. On the first tab of the guide, there's discussion about the format plus a few links to resources. The next tab provide examples of commonly used media types, such as books, journal articles, or films. Each tab is labeled, so you'll know where to look for the kind of media you're citing. You'll also find a table of contents on each tab, which allows you to go directly to an example citation for a specific type of resource. The examples provide guidance for creating your own citation. Another popular option in the Research Help menu are the Quick and Tech Guides. These PDF documents are designed to answer commonly asked questions. We have guides to assist you with citation, research, and technology. As you can see, these guides tend to focus on one or two very specific tasks. They also share helpful tips for further exploration. Our research guides can also be found under the Research Help menu. Research guides are created by reference librarians, and they showcase a set of curated library and internet resources that can help you research a topic. When you click on the Research Guides link in the menu, you encounter an interface that allows you to browse by guide type. We have guides that are designed to support specific courses, guides that describe library services for faculty and students, and guides that are about specific research topics. You can also browse our list of guides by subject. Additionally, you can do a simple keyword search to see if we have a guide on your topic. If you need to research and analyze advertisements for an assignment, for instance, you might want to search for advertisements in the search bar. The results will show any page in any research guide that contain the words you searched for. Bolded text will take you to the front page of the research guide, but normal text will take you straight to the page in the guide that contained your search term. Research guides usually contain a mix of library resources, carefully vetted internet resources, and research tips. They're structured a lot like the citation guides we showed earlier, with tabs for specific subtopics. Incidentally, from anywhere on our website, you can click on our logo to return to our homepage. The library also has a YouTube channel. This is located at youtube.com slash user slash Columbus State Library. You can also access our YouTube channel by clicking on the YouTube icon at the very bottom of the library's homepage. Our YouTube channel provides 20four seven access to tutorials for our most common research questions. So if you need to learn via demonstration, you might find these especially helpful. And remember, you can always ask us for help. Library staff are happy to help you not only in person, but via phone, email and live chat. Our contact information is posted on the right hand side of the library's homepage. And while the library is open, you can click on the blue and white chat icon at the bottom right of the page in order to get real-time assistance. Last but not least, the library shares information about its services and events on social media.